Hi everyone. Now what you just saw there is a quick example of what we're going to go through in today's lesson. It's going to be a brutal alternate picking workout using the chromatic scale. So this is going to challenge a couple of different things. First of all, it's going to work on our endurance in our left and right hands, as well as the synchronisation between the two. And it's also going to really challenge our alternate picking, as we're going to have to use different combinations of up and down strokes as we cross over between strings. So we're going to start off, I'm going to teach you what the exercise is, and then we're going to have a playthrough of it together at a few different tempos and see how fast we can get it. So let's go, go right into it. So let's start off by talking about the right hand. Nice and easy, all we're going to do is alternate pick for the full exercise. So that just means we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up for the full thing. Nice and easy. The left hand, slightly more difficult. For this, we're going to start off by playing the first, second, third and fourth frets all on the low E string. Then we're going to play the first fret on the A string and the second, third and fourth frets on the E string. Then we're going to play the first and second fret on the A string and the third and fourth fret on the E string. Then we'll play the first, second and third frets on the A string and the fourth fret on the E string. Then we'll play the first, second, third and fourth frets on the A string. This pattern repeats, but now we'll be starting from the D string. So we'll play the first fret on the D string and the second, third and fourth frets on the A string. Then the first and second fret on the D string and the third and fourth on the A string. Then the first, second and third frets on the D string and the fourth on the A string. Then the first, second, third and fourth frets on the D string. Next we play the first fret on the G string and the second, third and fourth on the D. Then the first and second frets on the G string and the third and fourth on the D. Then the first, second and third on the G and the fourth on the D. Then the first, second, third and fourth on the G string. We keep going. Next we play the first fret on the B string and the second, third and fourth on the G. Then the first and second on the B string and the third and fourth on the G. Then the first, second and third on the B string and the fourth on the G. And then the first, second, third and fourth on the B string. Next we go into the high E string. We play the first fret in high E and then the second, third and fourth on the B string. Now play frets 1 and 2 on the high E and 3 and 4 on the B string. And then frets 1, 2 and 3 on the high E string and 4 on the B. And then we finish off with frets 1, 2, 3 and 4 on the high E string. At this point we'll move our hand up a fret. So our pinky is now at the 5th fret. This is where we start the descending pattern. So first we play frets 5, 4, 3 and 2 on the high E string. Then fret 5 on the B and 4, 3 and 2 on the E string. Then we play frets 5 and 4 on the B and 3 and 2 on the E. Then we play frets 5, 4 and 3 on the B string and 2 on the E. And then frets 5, 4, 3 and 2 on the B string. Now we move on to the G string, we play the 5th fret and then frets 4, 3 and 2 on the B string. Then 5 and 4 on the G and 3 and 2 on the B. Then 5, 4 and 3 on the G and 2 on the B. 
and then five, four, three, and two on the G string. Then we go on to the D string, play fret five, and then four, three, and two on the G string. Then five and four on the D string, and three and two on the G string. Then five, four, and three on the D string, and two on the G. Then five, four, three, and two on the D string. Then we play on the A string, fret five, and then four, three, and two on the D string. Then five and four on the A string, and three and two on the D. Then five, four, and three on the A, and two on the D. Then five, four, three, two on the A. Then on the E string we play fret 5 and then 4, 3 and 2 on the A. Then 5 and 4 on the E and 3 and 2 on the A. Then 5, 4 and 3 on the E and 2 on the A. And then 5, 4, 3 and 2 on the E string. At this point we would move our first finger one fret higher up and then we would repeat that whole ascending pattern that we just did. And then that just keeps going on and on and on. And that's how we play the exercise. So now we've gone through how we play the different ascending and descending patterns. Feel free to pause the video, take some time, go away, practice it, get it under your fingers, get more confident with it, and come back and we can go through the full exercise together. So to play the exercise properly, what we're gonna do is start off with our first finger at the first fret on the, ha the low E string, sorry. Go through the ascending pattern, then move up a fret, go through the descending pattern, up a fret, go through the ascending pattern, and we're gonna keep going all the way until our first finger reaches the 13th fret on the low E string. So that means we'll cover one full octave. We're gonna do this in semi-quavers, so that's 16th notes, at three different tempos. First we're gonna do it at 80 beats per minute, then 90 beats per minute, and then finally 100 beats per minute. And we're going to do this with a clean tone. Well, I'm going to use a clean tone anyway. We're not cheating, we're not putting any distortion on this, we're not using any tricks. We want to hear everything properly, we're not going to have, be able to hide behind any effects here. Right? So let's get stuck right into it. 80 beats per minute, semi-quavers. Let's go through it. Let's do it. Ready, steady. And ready, steady, ready, go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Steady and ready, steady, ready, go. Ready, steady, and ready, steady, ready, go.